This video is not a substitute for medical advice. Talk to your doctor if you are experiencing any of these symptoms. <sighs> Wonder if she texted me back. Let me check. Why hasn't she texted me back? It's been a whole night. Where is she? Did I do something wrong? Hey, are you mad at me? I'm so sorry. Does she make new friends? Hopefully she responds. Oh my god, it's 8 o'clock. I'm gonna be late for class. Oh my god, I'm so behind in my notes for this class. Fifty percent? I totally forgot. What am I gonna do? Hey, have you heard about last year's test? I heard it was terrible, like half the class failed. Have you started studying? No, I haven't. Oh my god, you could better start like start studying now, cause or else you're gonna fail. Like I already started studying for chapters one to eleven. It's gonna be a piece of cake for me. Anyways, I gotta go. Why Later. did she say that? Guess she wants me to fail. I need to start studying for this test right away. I'm gonna fail if I don't. Oh, it's Natasha. Hey, why didn't she say hi? Does she hate me? Oh, I think I heard my phone. <sighs> I think it's time I told her I have BPD. Borderline Personality Disorder, also known as BPD, is a personality disorder that involves emotional dysregulation, impulsivity, and unstable relationships. Many individuals with BPD experience fear of abandonment, extreme emotional mood swings that alternate between extremes of idealization and devaluation, or paranoid and suspicious thoughts. This can be accompanied with feelings of emptiness, identity disturbances, explosive emotions such as sudden anger, bitterness, irritability, or shame or anxiety, and a loss of sense of reality. These emotions can lead to unstable relationships and self-destructive behavior often done at times during fear of abandonment or rejection. Dissociation or a feeling of detachment from reality occurs in 75-80% to 80 of BPD patients and it is thought to occur due to deactivation of the amygdala. According to the DSM-4-TR, BPD affects around 2% of the general population. Although it is predominantly diagnosed in females, men are also believed to be equally affected. Currently, the cause of borderline personality disorder is unknown. However, researchers propose three main factors that may increase the risk of developing BPD. Genetics, brain function or structure, and environmental factors. Some researchers have proposed that a specific gene or combination of genes can lead to the disease. For example, a study found that FKBP5 gene polymorphisms was associated with BPD. Other researchers have proposed that traumatic life events, such as abusive parenting or lack of support, can lead to BPD. Emotional instability varies across individuals, but is often associated with intense negative mood. Due to this association, those with BPD often have a higher rate of self-harm and suicidal ideation. BPD can only be diagnosed by a licensed mental health professional. They use a list of nine criteria established by the DSM. Those who have BPD often have other comorbid conditions such as mood, anxiety, or personality disorders. There are nine criteria in which encompass borderline personality disorder. Usually a diagnosis is made with five or more of the following. There are many treatments and therapies present to treat BPD. Currently, the American Psychiatric Association's guidelines recommend psychotherapy as a mainstay treatment. One example involves dialectic behavioral therapy, which is a weekly individual and life skills session that teaches emotional regulation, interpersonal skills, mindfulness, and distress tolerance. Pharmacotherapy can also be used. No drugs have been approved by the FDA at this moment for the treatment of BPD. However, medication can be prescribed by a doctor that is given to lower the symptoms that occur during periods of high vulnerability. There are two types of treatments given to treat BPD. Neuroleptics are used to regulate mood and perception, whereas selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors are used to treat emotional or affective symptoms such as depression. A mixture of both is given to treat symptoms involving behavioral discontrol. 
Seeking help is important. Treatment and healing takes time, but it can help improve the quality of life of someone who has BPD. If you would like to learn more about borderline personality disorder, please check the resources in the description of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.